Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can find vegan clothing. This video is part of my vegan starter kit series in which I cover a wide variety of topics related to veganism based on the questions that you guys have. So I will link the playlist below if you want to check it out, but I've already covered topics on how to tell your parents that you want to go vegan, how to live with non-vegan roommates, how to eat vegan at restaurants, things along those lines. So check it out if that sounds interesting to you. And also if you have another topic that you'd like me to cover, leave a comment down below and I would be happy to cover it. Also, if you want to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. Uh, but now let's get on to the actual content. So as many people like to say, veganism isn't just a diet, it is also a lifestyle, which means that it encompasses more than just food, which in this case means clothing. And even if you're not vegan, I think it is really important to learn about where your clothes come from and what they are made of, especially because the fur and down and leather industries are incredibly cruel and unjust. I don't claim to be a total expert, but I will leave a few resources down below if you want to learn information about it and I highly encourage you to do so. To be honest, it's really not that hard to find vegan clothing. I would bet that the majority of your closet is already vegan. However, there are a few things that you do want to look out for. The first is leather and a leather and suede are both quite obviously not vegan as they are literally dried animal skin. Nowadays though, it is honestly so easy to find faux leather alternatives that look just as realistic as leather. And for the most part, they're often more affordable too. Stores like Walmart and Target usually have a ton of vegan faux leather options because they're less expensive stores and leather is generally more expensive anyways. I know Target in particular has a ton of different vegan belts and wallets and bags and shoes and even jackets depending on the season. All you have to do is check the label and it will say it is made from man-made materials which means it's not made from animal skin aka leather but it's probably just made from plastic or some other synthetic conglomeration. If you have a larger budget, Free People actually has an entire vegan shop on their website where they feature vegan friendly alternatives to leather and suede and fur and they even have a vegan beauty product section and I've heard from several friends that their options are usually pretty high quality and they last them a while. And then last but not least, there are a lot of smaller companies that produce ethically made vegan faux leather products. I think that if you have the means to support these companies, I would totally encourage it because it's always great to support smaller businesses and also businesses that are 100% vegan. Honestly, there are so many options, but I'm just going to show you guys the ones that I use the most in my everyday life. For bags in particular, this is my go-to bag. Um, I'm probably gonna pronounce the name wrong. Marama? I'll link it down below, but I love it. I think it's like really stylish and it has a lot of pockets, which is good for me because I got a lot of stuff. And then in my everyday, I have this vegan faux leather wallet from Canopy Verde. It's gold, so it obviously doesn't look like real leather, but they have a lot of other vegan options and they also have some canvas bags if you're not looking into a faux leather option. And then for shoes, if you're looking for high quality leather shoes, I would really, really recommend the company Tastemaker Supply. I have these little fall booties and they are made from faux leather. Um, my friend Frey actually runs the company. They have a lot of cute styles for both girls and guys. So they are a little bit pricier, but I would totally suggest that you check them out. Honestly, I'm not a big shoe person. I don't have too, too much but I really like these native shoes. It's an all vegan shoe company as well. I just have these sneakers, but I think they have like slip ups and other styles. And then I also really like Tom's. They have sneakers as well as flats. They have a whole vegan section on their website. And then if you're more of a Converse sauce Vans kind of person, I would recommend this company called Vambas. They are completely vegan. You can change out the laces. They come in different colors and for every pair you buy, they plant a tree, so. That's pretty cool. Also, as a side note, all of the Brooks brand running shoes are vegan. I use those and I think they're really comfortable. I have high arches and they provide me with very good support. And then the second biggest issue when it comes to vegan clothing would be fur and down. And honestly, if you live in a tropical area, you may not even ever experience this issue because you don't need something to keep you warm. But I think most of us 
acknowledge, even non-vegans, that the fur industry itself, like Fox and Minks and all that stuff is really cruel. And a lot of fashion brands have actually made commitments to stop using fur, which is awesome. Uh, but I think a lot of us don't realize that there are still fur and animal products that are woven through a lot of sweaters and winter jackets. Most people realize that products like wool and cashmere aren't vegan as they come from sheep or llamas and goats. Um, but another thing you may not realize is a material called Angora, which is actually made from rabbit fur, a specific type of rabbit. To be honest, I'd say most of the products that include wool or Angora or cashmere are on the pricier side. So if you're on a budget, most of the time, the cheaper stuff isn't going to have it anyways. But I would check to be sure because I used to shop at Forever 21 and I realized that actually a lot of their sweaters had Angora in it, which is rabbit fur. And then once I realized that, I stopped buying them. I don't really shop there anymore, but just a heads up if you do shop there. So usually when I purchase sweaters, I will stick to a cotton or an acrylic blend. And the good thing about all clothing is that it has to have a tag listing the materials that it's made from. It's usually on like the lower inside portion of your shirt. So you can just check to see if it has an animal product in it. I kind of see it as like going to the grocery store if you're vegan and you're looking for a new vegan product, you have to read the ingredients. It's just like reading the ingredients of your clothing. I will say one of the hard things to find vegan is a winter coat as a lot of them have wool or down fur lining in them. However, I know there is a brand called Wooly and they make really warm vegan winter coats. And also I believe Patagonia just came out with a warm down free alternative to some of their jackets that is vegan. Um, honestly, it is hard to find a vegan jacket and you do have to do a little bit of digging and some looking, but I still think it's possible to find in a regular department store like Kohl's or JCPenney. Like I said, you're just going to have to be a little bit more diligent. And then one final note for clothing, silk is not vegan either in case you didn't know. I feel like most of us don't purchase silk because it is very expensive, but it's made from the cocoons of worms and some of them die in the process of making the silk. So that's why it's not vegan. So those are all of the essentially non-vegan clothing items, but then we get into the issue of sustainability um, because a lot of the cheaper clothing items or even some of the more expensive ones are produced through fast fashion and slave labor conditions, which in and of itself is not ethical. So if you do want to learn more about these industries, I suggest you check out the documentary called The True Cost on Netflix, or my fellow YouTuber friend Kristen Leo has an awesome channel where she talks about ethical and sustainable fashion, and she's vegan as well, so I will link both of those sources down below for you. But on that note, there are a ton of smaller labels and brands that produce mostly vegan or 100% vegan, ethically made in organic clothing products. I would say the one downside to this is that they do tend to be more expensive, but this does make sense because one, they're using higher quality materials that are more expensive, and two, they're actually paying the people who make your clothes a fair living wage so they can support themselves. Like I said, there are a ton of them and I will try to list several down below. If I miss one that you have that's a favorite, just leave a comment. Off the top of my head, some of the ones I can think of are Groceries Apparel, Reformation, Packed Organic, Miyakota, Everlane, and Ten Tree is really cool too because they plant trees every time you buy something. Personally, I do prefer to support these companies and I would much rather buy a small amount of higher quality ethically made clothing that I know will last me a while than to purchase cheap clothing that's only going to last a few seasons that was made in unfair conditions for the people making the clothing. I do think that's a personal decision and honestly, at the end of the day, a vegan lifestyle is again about minimizing animal suffering as much as you can based on your circumstances. So if you truly can only afford clothes from like Walmart and Forever 21, I don't necessarily think that that is the end of the world. However, I will say a great way to both save money and reduce your waste is to purchase clothing secondhand. You can go to thrift stores such as Goodwill or Salvation Army or Value Village or whatever local thrift store you have near you. Also, you can look at consignment shops, which are generally more expensive, but you have to do less digging because the items are generally more in season and stylish. Some examples of those would be Plato's Closet and Buffalo Exchange, but I think that's more of a local thing. I would just search, just Google consignment shot near me and you'll get something for the most part, I'm pretty sure. And then another thing that's great nowadays is because of technology, we now have apps on our phones where we can shop and sell our own secondhand clothing. 
and not even have to leave our bed. So there are apps like Poshmark or ThreadUp or Depop where anyone can sell any piece of clothing. I actually do have my own Poshmark site, so I will link that below. Shameless self promo. There is one small issue that sometimes does pop up with the thought of purchasing secondhand, which is should vegans be purchasing leather or for example, a sweater that has wool in it as a secondhand product because technically it's not vegan, though I personally do think that this is vegan because when you purchase a leather jacket or a shoe or a belt or a sweater um, secondhand, you're not directly supporting that industry and you're not directly supporting the demand um, for leather coats because it was something that someone else had and then it just gave it away and now you have it. Um, I will say it is a personal decision because on the other hand, by wearing these products, you are sort of supporting them inadvertently. Um, but like I said, I think everyone has their own limit. Like for example, I honestly have personally purchased sweaters secondhand that did have wool in them. And I have purchased a few belts. I don't think I've purchased any shoes and I probably wouldn't purchase a purse or like a prominent non-vegan coat company such as Canada Goose. They're really known for their cruel um, like tactics in getting down and fur for their jackets. So I personally wouldn't support those. But like I said, I do think it's a personal decision. So you do you, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Okay, so that is my quick synopsis of how to find vegan clothing. But now I want to feature some of my favorite explicitly vegan clothing brands um, because as you've probably seen, there are a lot of vegan clothing companies out there and I just wanna share a few of my personal favorites and I think that wearing a vegan related t-shirt is a great way to spread the message in kind of a non in your face and abrasive way. It's a great conversation starter and you don't even have to have a conversation for someone to read your shirt and maybe learn about veganism or they'll look into it more or something like that. And oftentimes a lot of them are really freaking cute. I'm gonna adjust my position because my feet fell asleep the way I was sitting. Uh, but yeah, now let's move on. I actually filmed a video a few years ago, I think, of my favorite vegan clothing brands and they pretty much stayed the same. My all time favorite is still in Soul Shine. It's an Australian based company. Actually, I think they're based in Bali now, but it's by my friend Tan. I actually got to meet her at a vegan festival once. She is so sweet. All their clothing is ethically made and I think it's very much aligned with my style because I like a lot of neutral colors and I'm actually wearing a sweatshirt from them, which is cool because a lot of companies don't have sweatshirts. There's coconuts on the front and the back says milk coconuts, not cows. So I think it's cute. It's very sly and subtle. Um, this was the first vegan t-shirt that I ever purchased. It's a muscle tee from them that says vegan vibes. They just have a lot of really cute things. Most of it's in gray or white, which like I said, I think is very much my style. There's love them, don't eat them. This one says there's no planet B. And then an example of a white one, they have one that says go vegan baby. And they also sell really cute tote bags too. So I will link this and all the other companies below if you wanna check them out. I would highly recommend them. Their stuff is very high quality, is lasted me a very long time. My next favorite company is Vegetarian. It's run by my friend Taryn. Everything is made in LA and again, ethically made. And she also has an organic line of t-shirts. And in my biased opinion, my favorite shirt is the one that I made in collaboration with her. I actually hand her the design. It's a V and it's made of different fruits and veggies. Sometimes I just personally wanna be more subtle. So I think it's a cool, subtle way to share the message. So it comes in a tank top and then we also have it in a t-shirt as well if you want to check it out, so I'll link it below. She also has a bunch of other designs. For example, there's this one that says fruits and like the Friends logo. She has like a vegan NASA one. So she has some very cute tees. And then the final company that I wanna feature is V by Beat. It's by my friend Jackie. This one is definitely more edgy, but I do still like it. And she has a lot of cute cropped designs and things like that. I actually only have one shirt from her um, and it is more abrasive, but it's this really cute yellow color and it says, fuck factory farming. Honestly, I don't wear this in places where there are probably like small children, but I'll wear it to vegan events and like when I'm chilling at home because it is very soft and comfortable. And I think that wraps it up for this video. Fashion is a very big topic and it's also not my strong suit. So I tried to do the best that I could and these are my personal recommendations, but like I said, I'm sure there are a ton more and there are a ton of other vegan fashion related channels out there. So hopefully this was a good intro to the topic and thank you guys for watching. Let me know what vegan starter kit video you want me to film next. Kind of took a break from these, but I'm getting back into doing them now. 
So yeah, I think that's it. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.